appear in this class by trying to think not just what they were familiar with in this country, but to think about other completely different contexts around the world. So they started at this general idea about what it meant to like, try to organize settlement patterns in developing countries. And then very, very soon they focused in on West Africa. And then they focused in on Ghana. And then within Ghana, they actually focused even more specifically on a newly annexed dis district, the Afinso North District, sort of in the north central part of the country. Uh, it's part of the Ashanti region, but it kind of pokes into your region, the Brown Alpha region. So they have a story to tell you about what they believe they have learned. The idea is that they've learned some things, but, but maybe, just maybe, we've learned something together that we could share with our colleagues in the Finso North, or anybody else who might want to help with planning in Ghana. Maybe there's some resources we put together. So the group is putting together a report, but before they finish the report, they have a presentation they want to share with you. Next week there will be a, a report, and we'd be glad to share that with you. But tonight they have a presentation that they put forward to you, for, for you that is about 25 minutes. And then we'd really like you to give us your reactions about what, what their thinking entails and what things might work, what things might be a challenge to work, some advice you could give them. So when we actually send something to uh, to so North, it's had the benefit of some other perspective besides the students. So does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. So what I'd like to do before we start is uh, I'd like for you guys here what I call a panel to sort of know who, who's here, and uh, then I have the students introduce themselves. But if you could start here with Robert, introduce yourselves and a little bit of your background about what it is that you do. Uh, outside of coming to visit this class. <laughs> <laughs> Putting you all to sleep like I did last time. Um, my name is Robert Greer. It's great to see many of you again. Um, thank you for having me. Uh, I'm with Green and Technologies, and we are a, a local economic development and industrial development company. Um, we are mainly focused on building bridges, economic bridges, and ties between the U.S. and developing regions. And Robert, just for uh, Bernard and uh, Nana's benefit, you working with the continent in Africa uh, experience with Namibia and... Exactly, exactly. Um, we're, we're currently working in Namibia um, towards a mall development. Uh, it's more of a lifestyle community. So um, doing some work in Namibia, South Africa, a little bit of Ghana, um, Cameroon. Yeah, oh, I'm Zhang Jun and uh, I'm a PhD student in CRP and I uh, gave a talk on uh, planning, uh, planning issues in South Korea like two months ago okay. and then uh, I am writing a dissertation in labor change and I hope to graduate uh, this spring and yeah. Okay. Very good. Nana? Yeah, uh, my name is Nana Odinova Wasei uh, I'm the president of Bronga Health Association of Central Bayou here, and uh, I'm also a chief in my hometown. And I'm um, currently pursuing a bachelor's degree in health information management. And this is the second time that I'm meeting with you. So, that's about it. Great. Thanks, Nana. Bernard? Hi, I'm Bernard. I'm coming from the northern part of Ghana. Um, well, I'm a professional social worker. Uh, I'm here to understudy the special needs services for persons with disabilities so that I can go back to Ghana and improve from the service delivery for persons with disabilities. You know, our current you know, government you know, has passed a disability you know, bill or law to provide organization of opportunities for persons with disabilities in Ghana. So I have come here and this club is to do services to get back to Ghana and the government to plan and implement those services. So I'm currently with um, the West Central School for Developmental Disabilities. I'm also giving them some experience I have 
have other countries, you know, Israel, have the Palestine, you know, Sky Project, and Sri Lanka have experience in their disability services. So it's like give and take. So I'll be here for well, 18 months. Mm. And I have so far spent five months. I'm going to go to 18 months. So, Do you like the yeah. snow or not? <laughs> well, no, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> every, every reserve, let me reserve my, my, my remarks on that. But the interesting aspect of me, um, I have been a presiding member of the Family Center of the Street Assembly. Hmm. So I mean, you know, I know what is mean by development okay. of a new district. Mm -hmm. So when I had, you know, had an invitation, I said, well, I can also come and share my experiences with, you know, those who are trying to help us yeah. do the planning. Okay. Yes, so that, that's why. That's great. Because so we've been, we've, you know, one of the things we've tried to figure out mm -hmm. is how decisions get made and yeah. what is the role of the assembly. Yeah, that's okay. yeah. That's okay. Excellent. Okay, so at this point, um, I'd like to turn it over to the students. You'll be relieved to know they're not all speaking tonight, only a few of them speaking on behalf of their colleagues. But in about 25 minutes, so at this point, uh, they're going to come forward one at a time and speak. We are recording, we are recording the presentation and the discussion. The idea that we can learn from it, but maybe we can actually use part of it to share with other, with other people. So, those of you who are going to speak, you be mindful of Kyle's uh, objective back there to get you on camera and to get a stationary target if we could. All right. So, David, would you like to start? Sure, get in. Again, welcome everybody to a presentation of our work that we've been uh, putting together for the quarter. Um, Kyle, if you could go ahead and uh, give me a slide there. Tonight we're going to be looking at um, first the purpose of this document and the context in which it was made. Um, and then we're going to try to explain to you the uh, basic processes that we went through and came up with as an essential planning process that we believe would be most beneficial to uh, planning God. And then um, we have a special excerpt about researching and doing a technical data research and actually doing community outreach research, which is proves to be very beneficial to the planning process. And uh, then we have an overview of the national policies in effect in Ghana and then some conclusions and lessons we learned about planning in developing countries. So first I want to talk about the uh, purpose, um, just to establish a little bit of a sense of context. Uh, go ahead, John. Uh, as many of you know, this is Ghana. Um, the region we're working in is right in here in the northern part of the Ashanti region, it's the Afinso North District. Uh, Kyle, if you did a slide for me again there. Um, the largest city is Kukumadan in the uh, Afinso North District. Um, and yeah, so. To establish a little bit of context, we know that Africa is experiencing very rapid urbanization. And we believe as planners that you can address this problem through effective planning. Um, in Ghana, they're experiencing about 4% um, population increase per year, which is rather steep. Um, most projections set Ghana being an uh, urban country by 2015, which by any means is very, very soon. Um, Many reports show that there's a growing domestic market in Africa. The new story for economics is consumption in Africa. It's going from being an export and raw material company that's shipping out their goods to actually consuming a lot of the goods that they produce. So with this new development in um, production and consumption, um, the area in focus for us, the Afinso North area, is a very rural area. And this is a very good focus for us because they have very fertile tomato farms up there. And they would like to find ways to uh, more effectively produce and be able to hold on to their crop um, for their own consumption and use for the development of their district. Um, and as I mentioned there, also the Afinso North District is looking to uh, 